This world is made up of about 7 billion people. As humans, we are all born with 99.9% .9 of the same genetic material, but acquire and express different skills and behaviors. If we are all essentially made up of the same material, what factors make us different? Why are some people more skilled than others in certain areas compared to other areas? These questions can be tied to the widespread debate of nature versus nurture. Is the cause of differences between humans who are 99.9% .9 genetically the same based on nature or nurture? Nature is a hereditary information received from parents at the moment of conception that signals the body to grow and affects our characteristics and skills. Nature is essentially the hardware for your genes. Reflexes are a good example of how nature plays a role in our development. The video being shown is an experiment showing the effects of the moral reflex. Being that reflexes are considered to be phylogenetic, meaning it is a part of our innate skills, they are not culturally or environmentally influenced. Nurture, on the other hand, is the complex environmental forces of the physical and social world that individuals encounter in their homes, neighborhoods, schools, and communities. In other words, they are the skills we acquire and learn through our experiences and exposure to certain environments. Harry Harlow's experiment with infant monkeys shows how nurture plays a role in development. This experiment with an infant monkey was set up with two fictitious mothers. One was made out of soft cloth, which provided no food, and the other was consisted of wire, which provided food. As the baby monkey was raised by these surrogate mothers, it was concluded that the monkey spent significantly more time with the cloth mother than the wire mother, even though she provided no food. The results show that comfort plays an enormous role in early development. Seeing how much the environment can affect development, it can be seen how nurture plays a very important role in it. By receiving a more nurturing upbringing, one becomes more of a responsive being because of the presence of comfort. Nurture are the complex environmental forces of the physical and social world that individuals encounter in their homes, neighborhoods, schools, and communities. In the classical experiment that McGraw conducted on twin boys, it can examine further the effects of nature and nurture. In the experiment, he compared the motor milestones between a set of twins, Jimmy and Johnny. The boys were put in the same environment, but Johnny was trained and Jimmy was not. Although they both achieved motor milestones at about the same age, the quality of their movements differed. It can be seen that Johnny's movements are smoother and more graceful compared to Jimmy's movements. Although the early training made no difference in when the babies achieved their mo motor milestones, it did, however, play a role in the quality of movement. This showed that nurture played a role in their development. A practical exemplification of the use of nurture is through our food choices every day. There are millions of unique foods out there, but how do we choose which ones we want to consume? By nature, we will eat whatever foods are available to nurture ourselves with. But because of our environment and the social norms that are prevalent in society, we have more choices to what, as to what to consume. Now, instead of just what satisfies our taste buds and fills our stomachs, we now consider the nutritional facts and cultural values of what we eat. What we choose to consume has become based less on our innate need of food and more on the environmental factors such as culture and education on nutrition. This constant debate of nature versus nurture is something scientists and psychologists have been constantly studying throughout the years. The concept of nature and nurture assumes the two to be separate entities void of each other, where it's either one or the other. Although certain variances in development may be explained by one or the other, there's no doubt that both play an important role in development. According to Gilbert Gottlieb's book on synthesizing nature and nurture, Heredity and environment work together and are seen as equally important to produce an individual. While certain factors may be seen as purely genetically related, there is still much ambiguity between what can be considered nature and what can be considered nurture. So instead of scrutinizing over either or, nature or nurture, perhaps the better approach is to consider them instead as one whole entity and how one affects the other.